This video is based on a recent blog post to the No Magic Modeling blog. I'd like to show you how easy it is to count uh, these properties. Uh, in other words, to be able to get a numerical roll-up of the uh, elements that are present in this table. So we're going to go ahead and make a custom column to give us the number of requirements uh, that are realized. So we'll just go to Show Columns and make a new custom column. And we'll just say Number Realized. And for this to work, I need to have the expert mode turned on. And you want a script. And you need to switch it to JavaScript. And you simply ask for arg1.size. And uh, when you expand this, arg1 uh, is nested underneath it. And if you simply hit reset, it now gives you the ability to do any meta chain, filtering, finding, anything at all that you want. And so because we've defined the requirements realized as a property, uh, it shows up here under simple navigation and all we need to do is pick requirements realized uh, pick the block one and say OK and now it will go ahead and roll up that count uh, it's a good thing I want to point something else out that you need to also select that this is being returned as an integer and a single value and when that runs you'll now see that we have uh, a count here that shows us that we have two realized and for this one and five realized for this one. So uh, let's go ahead and give ourselves a count of the gap. And so this time we will not omit that uh, the importance of uh, making this an integer. Single value and we will go to make a script. Again we want JavaScript arg1 size and we'll come down here to arg1. We could rename this if we so chose. I normally don't bother because these are just uh, quick and dirty numbers, but uh, and we'll go ahead and we want the gap. And again, we'll take that for any block. And now this runs and this tells us how big the gap is. You can also have multiple uh, arguments to get percentages. And so we can uh, divide um, the uh, requirements gap by the requirements realized to understand what the percentage of the gap is. So we'll go ahead and make a custom column here for percent gap. And we're going to make that a real single value. And we're going to go ahead and ask for a script here. We'll make this JavaScript. It will be arg1.size over arg2.size um, times 100, I believe. And so we'll come here and we have arg1. We'll reset that. And that's just going to be the gap. And we want to create another parameter here. Another simple meta chain. This is now arg2. And we now have requirements realized here. This is now arg2. And when we say OK, it uh, tells us that there's not applicable 50% and 80%. And so there you have it. We now have a very easy way to roll up uh, any property, any meta chain uh, that we can define. We now can do numerics with simply by using uh, that script and JavaScript and the size argument. Thank you.